here's another update for everybody um, not much done um, as you can see I got it all back together it didn't look any different from the front or anything but uh, the back and insides is a lot different uh, I, I built it right this time got everything real sturdy and, and firm it doesn't move or, or wobble it's very rigid um, got a couple extra things done today I mean showed you yesterday I got the coin door on there or I believe it's day four and uh it's uh installed and working great I got the lights and everything wired up to it I can't wire any of the buttons or anything up until I get my uh eye pack from Altamark and my VGA card but you see up top there there's my new power switch and uh Back here on the back, I did have the whole back as, as a as a removable panel or a door that would just open up. But instead I did away with that and boxed it in the top part for sturdiness because you, you really don't need in there. And the only part you'll need in is, you know, the middle and the bottom to get in, into the computer or work on the monitor or whatnot. Um, so now, you know, this helps it be real sturdy and there's the panel that goes right here. I'm sorry if I keep sniffling. I've, I've got a little bit of a cold. Um, here we'll power it on and I'll, I'll show you how everything's hooked up. Um, and as you can see the lights light up and everything. And we'll come down in here and I'll, I'll show you how everything works. Um, you see the wires coming off the lights there and uh pull this computer out so I can show you basically what I did. Um, I had this little uh connector here for a I believe it was for a light for my uh tower for a fluorescent light and all it does is it takes uh two small little power leads right here and goes off to a a pin you know to plug into the light bar that I used to have and it's also got an exit so you can uh, connect your fan into it so I can just splice it right into my fans and what I did was I just took that wire off and ran it as the powers to the uh, lights on the coin door works great and then uh, as far as your power button goes you can see right here maybe you can see it's kind of dark but there's the wire right there and it just plugs down there into the motherboard just like you would with your normal power switch. Um, pretty simple. Um, which means the uh, power switch on the front of the computer isn't going to work anymore. But you're hopefully never going to have to be in the inside of this thing. But uh, that's it. That's all the changes for today. Um, we'll be waiting. Uh, like I said, everything's still shipping. Got everything purchased pretty much except for my stuff from Altamark, which I'm waiting until I get everything else in before I order that. Um, but uh, everything's good and fixed. It's solid as a rock now. Ain't going nowhere. Ain't moving. I took the wheels off of it. I just did away with that. Originally, I had it on wheels. I wanted it elevated a little bit because this was a, a door on the front. But now that I have the coin door on there, I don't even want it to open. I'm just going to keep it as a closed door. Um, Eventually, I got to put a power switch on for the whole cabinet, which uh, I'm not sure if I want to put it up top or put something back in the drawer behind the keyboard. Like have a, you know, just a little block right here with a with the switch on it, like a toggle switch of some sort. So you just pull the drawer open and flip it on instead of having to go to the top. Um, I obviously thought about this after I put the power switch up top. Um, if I would have thought about it before, I probably would have put the power switch down there too for the computer. That would have been a neat place to have it. Um, that's everything. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, here in a couple days, I know for sure Tuesday my bezel is coming in. So hopefully Tuesday or Wednesday I'll have the monitor installed. And there you go. And my golden axe machine. My son loves that. Thanks for watching.